Okay, tell me about the term calibration. It's learning to read the unconscious signals of others. Okay, and how does one learn to read the unconscious signals of others? By shutting up. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we all do it. I think, how does one learn? We are all doing it. We have learned to do it since we were young. I think it's more, it can be more useful to talk about the things that get in the way of us doing it. And the things that get in, get in the way of us doing it is having an internal dialogue. Um, it's being out of rapport. So if you get into rapport, if, when you get into rapport with people and you shut up yourself and you trust your body, you will pick up signs. Mm. Mm. Um, and there again, I go back to it, a lot of NLP is actually doing some silly exercises, but in doing those exercises, people reconnect with a lot of, skill, a lot of natural skills, um, like reading others, like, get, like getting into rapport when they want to. Um, um, it's a sort of process that you take people through that will wake them up, that will get them to start noticing this sort of stuff. And what are the effects and why is calibration important? Um, calibration is important because it enables you to tell how you're doing. If I'm communicating, if we're talking um, and you automatically nod your head, in mm -hmm. very simple terms, it means that you're agreeing with me. Um, if I want to do some change work with you and I ask you questions and you shake your head or you look, you know, it means that what I said hasn't related. So it's giving me information back, which, mm. know, which enables me to know where to go next. Mm. Okay. Mm. Um, true NLP is very, um, what's the word, it's a two-way process. It's a two-way communication process where we continually refine stuff. So my ability to be open to what's going on inside you um, is incredibly important because it tells me what to do next. I do something, I see how you respond, we're going in the right direction, you're not going in the right direction, I know what to do next. Mm. It's always the most important, to be honest, it's always the most important thing in NLP. So I can see it being important in both a business scenario when you're, you're yeah. having to engage with somebody and also personal, social relationships. Absolutely. Okay. So it's just essentially rapport. Um, is there a difference between calibration and rapport? If you're in rapport, you will naturally calibrate people. Okay. You may not be able to articulate it. Mm. You may not know what you're doing, but if you're in rapport, you will greatly increase your uh, calibration, your calibration skills. I see. Um, almost to the extent where, I actually think rapport also goes into modeling. If I'm in rapport with you, mm. I start picking stuff. Um, I almost um, are turning my body into a, um, a radio dish. Mm. Um, I'm actually absorbing what's, what's coming from me. Mm. Mm.